Hello to all of the witches out there. How are you? All of the priests and priestesses and every last one of you spiritualists. I'd like to know how are you today? Please comment and rate this video. The reason I wanted to talk to you all is because I am for sure more than ever that there is something really strange going on right now. I guess I finally had my own epiphany, my own awakening and enlightenment. Maybe you all have gotten to this point a long time ago. I don't know. Okay? Maybe this is child's play for you. Maybe entertainment. But this is my moment right now. Matter of fact, anybody that can vibe with me you would say it's your moment too. So let me take a little bit of time out with those people who are gelling with me right now, okay? I want to talk about soul robbers. Mm -hmm. We call them soul robbers. But I've had my moment to realize that's probably not necessarily true. I want to talk about soul robbers. You may call them soul catchers, soul trappers. I want to talk about that type of stuff. Because it is a disappointment to come here and realize that your body, your physical body, is enslaved and owned by planet Earth. But to come to the conclusion and realize that your spirit and your soul is also, I don't want to talk about the spirit right now. Let me, let me take that out. I want to talk about the soul because the soul is where the power source comes from. It's the energy, it's the warmth, it's all of those things. You understand what I'm saying? It's something within you that you have no control over. Absolutely not. But to come to, to, to the conclusion that I came here to be free and realize that even here I'm not free because I'm owned my physical body once again. But to find out that even into the afterlife my soul energy is enslaved also now for me I got quite a bit of controversy and that's a lot for myself when I did a video on my other channel when I said your soul is on I mean for some reason that video got so many you know so many views which that's a lot for myself you know what I'm saying for me it's, it's nothing for big channels but for me it was a lot and I was like wow you know what I, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out maybe you all can comment and give me some ideas I need your feedback you know what I'm saying this is just not my channel this is just not my place this is my family's place too okay and looks like the trolls under the bridge got a little bit of ownership on it too. So you know, trolls, you can you can you can say something too. You know what I'm saying? Trolls do have their purpose, you know. But my family, I need to talk to you. What is it about that video? Maybe you hadn't watched it when I said your soul is owned. I mean, so many people came out to watch that video and thumbs it down. That was a lot for myself. But I want to talk about that a little bit more. Because I went to a place and they explained to me a lot of things that I was totally unaware of. 
when I say I went to a place, y'all know that's for me, that's an out of body experience. I've gone to another dimension and time period. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about, and you know, I want to catch up with, with some of my travels and stuff with you all. But um, they let me know that the soul energy is not quite mine. And then they went over and reviewed some, you know, experiences in my life to show me some things that they have done to me personally, physically, some things that they've removed from me and some things that they have actually added to me without my permission. But, you know, they don't give a damn about my permission because guess what? They let me know. They owned me. Do you all know this? That every single last one of you all, your soul energy is owned by some particular star system. And that's the, you know, that's not what the, the, the really the word is called, but we call it stars. You know what I'm saying? But there is another name. There's a star system that owns each and every last one of you all and not all of you all and not all of us are from the same star system. Okay? So they do have the right to remove chakras. That's what we call them, but there's another name. You understand what I'm saying? Software is probably another good word for it, you know? But they do have the right to come in and tweak software, download information, and you can't do anything about it. The soul is one of the biggest hard drives out there, you understand? Downloading information and removing chakras, software, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? That's why sometimes it's good. It do you a lot of good to go and sunbathe. That's why a lot of people sunbathe. Because they're not going to tell you the true secret of what's really going on when you're sunbathing. Okay? A lot of you all are not ready for these new viruses that they're creating in the, in the laboratory right now. Because you are lacking your download from the sun rays. But these particular owners, you understand, of my soul, from my star system, you understand, that worked on me, was letting me know that they have full control of everything. There's nothing I can do about it. And when I physically transition from this planet, I will return to them. So that they can recycle my energy. And unfortunately for many of you all, the same will happen to you too. That's why you get into the ghost, the disincarnate uh, spirits and stuff that are trapped here. Uh, just not necessarily trapped here, but they are actually, you know, fugitives. And I want to talk about that. And some more up and coming videos. The fugitives that are fleeing. You understand? Their owners. Anyways, I just wanted to briefly talk about that. And um, I'm going to talk to you all about more of my experiences. With these soul robbers. Or soul owners. You take your pick what you think they are. You do that. Okay? Okay. I want to talk about one experience that I had with them that just stays on my mind. A lot of you all who have watched my, you know, videos on my old channel, the archives, a lot of people go to those videos and they re-resurrect a lot of the information. I'm glad you're doing it. I'm glad you are going back into the history of my old videos on my old channel and re giving them revitalization because the nation, you understand, they need it. Don't let them die. There was an experience that I had in, I think it was 1990. I'm telling you, they put this particular download in me now where I can just see molecular particles and activities going on. That's why I'm looking down at them right now. 
it's some shit that they fucking with right now in the labs and shit to keep it cool. You can see them. I don't know if all of y'all have the ability to see them, but they look like teeny weeny 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 um, sand particles that are flying around and they get in your throat and they make you cough. You know, now for a lot of us who were not 100% human, we're, you know, we're real. It's, it's, I, I can't get into that right now. See, I'm, I'm seeing those particles. They're not lint. They're not dust because lint dust tend to fall. These are moving with their own intelligence. You know what I'm saying? And I want you all to study this. Is it anyone out there that can relate to me? Anyone that's from the same particular star system I'm from? Hello? Sometimes I feel an alienated like I'm here by myself. <laughs> I know a lot of people want to keep their identity, you know, concealed because there are a lot of stalkers out there ready to harass you because there's a lot of people who are not enlightened they're not awakened or they think they are but you know they don't we don't jail but they're here on my channel for some odd reason but clearly we don't jail for some reason they have gravitated in this direction so I know I can understand a lot of people would just hit me up inbox me um, and email me with their concerns and, and things of that nature and I can't blame them because you know you can face a lot of attacks here and a lot of people feel like I'm already being attacked. The least I need is to be attacked in social media by strangers but we open our lives up to this. This was an oath that we've taken to come out and to reveal, you understand to the masses what's really going on out here we all are from different places we're all all humans are not the same there are different bre breeds of humans and stuff like that you know i mean i don't necessarily think it has a whole lot to do with what texture your hair is your skin color or whatever it's, it all goes back to soul groups who created your soul energy don't y'all think so you ever just walked up on somebody and they just seemed so familiar to you? You never met them, but you know you met them somewhere. Let me go back. I want to talk about the experience that I had years ago with these same particular, you know, I like to call them mothers of the mothership. And uh, the experience I had with them back in 2000 and... I think it was 2000, no, it was, it was 1995 or 96. Many of you all remember the video, the people who have been with me from the beginning of my journey here in the, in the fourth or the fifth dimension, you know what I'm saying? But um, i never forget, I lied down, got me some rest, and I felt this excruciating pressure on my head. It was so real. I, well, I was an abductee. Now, that's what they call it, an abductee. But really, for me, it's, it was just an experience. You understand? They call, so a lot of them say they were abducted. But no, these people own you. You are not abducted. They have rights to your physical body. They have rights to your spirits, your soul. And I was in this place and I could not really see what was below me and it was difficult to see what was above me but I did, did see my surroundings and I was surrounded with beings that would not show their faces I could not see their faces I only saw lab coats that, that was it their high hands were really tiny like the hands of children and they had gloves on very tight feeling gloves were they gloves or were they or was it just really their skin you know what I'm saying? But it was very latex, the skin was, in nature. But they were doing something to my head, and I never will forget, I began to scream, scream, and it, the, the, the sound didn't come, it, it was not coming from my voice, it was a very telepathic scream, like an inward scream. And it was so real, it was not a dream. It was real. They had snatched me up. And I remember yelling because the pressure was, it, it was just excruciating. You know what I'm saying? And there was this voice. And what was so funny about the voice is 
when they're working on you and when they're talking to you, it's telepathic and they use your very own voice to speak to you. It was my own voice that said, shut up. I'm just going to tell you what they said and let us finish. Many of you all have this done to you all the time and they don't act like you. And afterwards, I woke up. So they did something here. There's some type of implant or something they put there. And they have been watching me ever since 1995. You understand? They have made their presence just about every day of my life. My world was never the same again. Even my appearance changed. Everything changed. Everybody was around me saying, oh, you look so different. You act different. You're not the same, you know, Vanita. And I was like, oh, okay. And, and, and so that was my first experience with these particular uh, mothers of the mothership. I had another experience back in 2010-ish or 11 -ish, somewhere right there where I was like you know y'all watch these black TV screens these new monitor TV screens or whatever they want to call them y'all watch those things those things need to be covered I remember waking up and I could clearly see in the TV because the TV was off this is just a black TV the TV was off but there were, and I y'all know y'all a lot of y'all remember it. I don't know if this is a, to a totally new group of a family here or what, but I said on my old videos there were Asian people in what we would call it looked like an auditorium or coliseum of some sort. Y'all know how the seats go down like that. That's the only thing I could call it, a lecture hall. But the seats descend like this. And there were lots of people, I couldn't count them, sitting there watching me. Those are the, those, are those particles. Watching me. And they were on some type of devices. Taking notes of me. And I'm like, oh my God, y'all ever got that feeling you feel like somebody's watching you and you don't see anybody there, but you feel that, you feel like somebody's watching you, you feel it. They were sitting down there watching me, observing me and taking notes. Like I was a lab rat of some kind. And I never will forget, they were all Asian, I never will forget there was an Asian lady walking down the stairs or descending in some kind of a way. It's like she was late coming in and she was coming towards me. And the image was gone. And I heard this noise from her. She saw us. I'm going to end this right here. Please comment. Please rate. I know most of you all are more or less into the hoodooism and the voodoo and the supernatural. But I still feel like this relates because I know for sure that's where I get my supernatural powers from. You understand? The watchers. The observers. The mothers of the mothership. Watch yourselves. Keep an eye on those flat screen TVs. Matter of fact, you watch it. Don't let it watch you. Keep them covered. I'm the Wisdom Witch of social media. Visit me on Facebook. I am Vanita Davis. We got a coven out there. Wicked Witches. And um, I'm thinking about doing some extra things out there. But I'm going to need administrators. Administrators I can trust. Bye-bye, family.